My name is Thomas Robertson. I'm a yacht broker with Denison Yachting. We're on board this 2022 Absolute 68 foot Nevada. We have beautiful weather today. As you can see, flat calm seas. Perfect day to do a little photo and video shoot. We broke out the drone, got some underway shots. Now I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of the boat and show you all the cool features. One of my favorite spaces on this boat is this massive flybridge. And what's great is you have this retractable sunroof. So if it's a beautiful day like today, you can open it up, get plenty of vitamin D, work on that bronze tan of yours, or you can move aft, which you have all this rearrangeable furniture, which is amazing so that you can lay it out however you want. You have lounge chairs, entertaining chairs, a little love seat, plenty of space to be entertaining your family and friends and really have a great day out on the water. As we move forward, we have plenty of extra seating. We've got this beautiful custom bar, two swivel stools. You have your sink, refrigerator, ice maker. To the starboard, you have two set tees. You have the one with the table and then another one up here right next to the helm on both sides, port and starboard. Awesome for the, all of the lounging. You can hang out with the captain while you're underway, get the sun, find out what your plans are gonna be for your next destination. So we have the flybridge up here where we have very similar workstations. We have the two nav screens that you could split for your charts, your depths. And then we have all of our Volvo controls for the engines, monitoring all the systems. Um, these are our throttle controls. So you can use your split sticks for the, each prop, or we have our joystick, which is great with these pods. You can basically put this boat anywhere you want, like a video game. And then when you are using your throttles, you also have bow and stern thrusters to get you onto the dock safely. One great feature about this boat is that we do have the sky hook. So it's basically an anchor using satellites in your GPS position to hold you in place. Follow me down to the main deck. We'll take you up to the bow. As you can see, it's a full walk around bow. You have four lounge chairs on the bunny pad that you could lay flat. You can recline them all the way up. Full walk through passage for the set T, which also has a table that folds open. You can lay these flat. There's backrests that you can put inside the stanchions and be able to hang out and watch as you come into port. So one cool feature that I love about this boat is if you want to do a little stargazing at night if you're out on the hook, is you have these mood, set, mood lights that you can pop up. Get a little mood setting and hang out, enjoy the stars, a cocktail, and relax with your family and friends. As we're coming down the starboard side, for those of you that have families with lots of kids, you have really nice handrails along the starboard and port sides, keeping them safe and inside the boat. As we come onto the aft deck, it's a beautiful shaded area. You have mood lighting up top, huge table. You could sit up to 10 people. Another great feature for if you wanted to be owner operator or even just helping the captain is we got a wing station down here on the aft deck with full controls. You have the joystick which is great with the pod drives. And then you also have your bow and stern thrusters. Coming along the aft deck, we have a nice staging area for drinks, snacks, any kind of food. Another thing that we, what I really love is the concealed docking equipment. So underneath these ballards, we have our cleats, windlass, and fender storage, which is great so that it looks nice and clean. So another great thing about this aft deck is if it's a little bit windy or sunny, this aft deck has a sunshade, which is great for if you're on the aft deck having some cocktails or dinner. You could protect yourself from a little bit of wind, rain, add some privacy, or even protect you from the sun if you're getting a little too much that day. Let's take a quick look at the swim platform. Uh, along our way, we do have a matching side with all of the hidden deck equipment, which is beautiful. Down below here, we have a hydraulic swim platform which is currently set up with this great rib that has a bimini top, but you can swap this out for a little flats boat, jet ski, anything that really suits your needs. Um, and then even if you had nothing on it, you could lower it down and make it a little swim platform while you're out at anchor. So let's go inside and take a look at the main salon. Another great feature on this boat is on beautiful days like today, you have two sliding doors that open up completely to the aft deck. So instead of having to open the door, close the door, open the door and holler, honey, get me another cocktail. You can just keep everything open and have really nice open concept dining. So here in the main salon, we do have our galley, which has the induction type 
stove top and it's got the racks so that when you're underway, your pots and pans aren't sliding. You do have a little oven below, refrigerator, ice maker, sink, and some extra storage. I love what Absolute did with how wide these beams are and maximizing the space by keeping it in an open platform. Super high ceilings. I'm six foot tall and there's more than enough room. Um, we've got your dining area that can accommodate eight to 10 people. This gigantic U-shaped settee and all this natural lighting with these huge windows. Once the sun's going down, if you wanted to close the blinds and get a little bit more privacy, it's as easy as the touch of one button, which is great having these electric blinds. So coming up here to the main helm station, just like the upper helm up on the flybridge is you do have your throttle controls, your joystick controls, thrusters, your Volvo touchscreen to monitor the engines, and then on the joystick you have your sky hook control as well to keep you at anchor without having to actually drop the hook. One feature that they built in from the factory, which doesn't come standard on all models, is this extra wine fridge. Great for easy access instead of having to go down below to the stew area. And then continuing down into the guest cabins, we're gonna start with our master, which is up forward here in the V-berth. So as we come forward into the full beam master, you'll notice that there are two large windows on both port and starboard side, as well as a full beam bathroom with a large stand-up shower that also has a window, giving lots of natural light. On the port side, you have a vanity, stand-up closet, and lots of storage and cupboards below. As we move down into the aft guest cabins, on the starboard side, you have a double twin bunk with a full-length closet, an ensuite bath, and then across the hall, double berth, with a ensuite. And then in the aft, we have a full beam VIP cabin with your stand up full length closet, large ensuite bathroom, stand up shower, and a oversized port and starboard window adding to the natural light in the room. Lastly, to the forward at the bottom of the stairs, you have a little stew area with your stackable washer dryer, extra storage, and then another closet leading forward that is ample storage for anything you can need. Now that we've seen the interior spaces and all the limited living accommodations, let's go to the stern and check out the engine room. You've got plenty of space and where the power plant is, which is arguably the most important part of the boat. As you can see, everything is spotless being brand new. Um, you have your IPS Volvo 1350s that put out a thousand horsepower each. Moving forward at the center of the engine room, we have our Sea Keeper, which is great for when we're at anchor, keeping you nice and flat for those that do get seasick. This is an amazing feature to have. Um, we do have water makers, fuel systems, water pumps, circulation pumps. We also have our 29 and 21 KW Cummings own and de generators. That's gonna power all of your systems while underway. Thanks for joining me today on board Motor Yacht Powers Full, the 2022 68 foot Nevada. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or email me. Be happy to answer them. This could be your next yacht. Great to speak, I'm not